Hello YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new episode of CGL's New Jersey Collectibles. I got a good one for you guys because I bought a short box of comic books from a neighbor in town through local word of mouth. So, the story kind of goes, it's not a full box of comics, uh, as you can see by the thumbnail, it's kind of about 80 or 75% complete. But we were just out, my dad and I and, and the rest of the family, and we were just out having a conversation with guys. Uh, it turns out that they had um, a box of comic books in their possession. They're not comic book people. They're not really even Marvel or Star Wars or nerdy kind of people for that matter. So they just kind of had it lying around in their um, in their bedroom closet in the back. So I, I you know, we, we worked up the, uh, finally worked out a, a arrangement to go and see the box of comics. And I, I was pretty straight up with them. I was like, you know, I'm a reseller. I'm trying to buy stuff to make a profit off of it. I'm not going to give you the most amount of money that you can get for these comic books. But after some back and forth talk, I said I'd feel comfortable paying you guys $75 for the box of comics um, The after virtually no discussion whatsoever. They just accepted the $75 offer. And uh, like, like I said, I told them, you know, you can piece these out and sell them individually. I worked it up a little bit to try to give myself a favorable negotiation. But, uh, you know, you can take all the time. You can uh, make an eBay account. You got to go to the post office. You got to deal with customer feedback. You could do all that and definitely get more money uh, for these comic books. But uh, for me doing all the work, I'd have to give you about 75 bucks and it'll just cut you out of all the, the dirty work. And that was enough for them. And it was a good deal in my, in my opinion because there is a lot of kind of comics that I'm not too familiar with. My dad thought that they were really good uh, books to buy at, at that price. Um, I don't know how many are actually in there. We might have got them for a buck a piece or maybe less. I'm not sure. We, we got to count them out during the video. But the reason why I wanted them, you guys know what kind of comic books I'm into, but there are some good vintage Marvel comics, including a 12 cent key issue. Uh, so it was pretty good for me because I, like I said, I wasn't, in, I wasn't interested in the majority of the books. Um, but I was like, for 75 bucks, I'll give you $75. I'll take everything. It was it worked out uh, for everybody. So without further ado, let's get into this uh, box of comics. If you haven't already, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you guys ever do deals around town with neighbors or through word of mouth conversation or through Craigslist or, or anything like that. How do you guys get your comic books? Do you just go to local comic shops? Do you go to shows? What's your what's your comic book source? You know, where, where do you where are you guys getting your stuff? For me, you know, I'm trying to branch out to multiple sources where I we buy on eBay, we buy at flea markets, we buy at shows, and now I'm trying to get I'm trying to make deals kind of off to the side. You know, that that's kind of where I think some of the good stuff's at. But without further ado, let's get into this box of comics, guys. All right, guys, let's get this box uh, started off. If anybody doesn't mind keeping a head count on these comics, I'm curious as to how many there are actually in here. Might have paid a buck a piece for these. Um, but like I said, I mean, look, the Marvel comics, I can assure you guys when we get to that point in the box, they're really good. It's really good stuff. Kind of really doesn't match with some of the other stuff in here was. But honestly, like for me, like 80 percent of this stuff isn't really my uh, cup of tea. A lot of it's like kind of like this 70s horror stuff, which I like. I mean, like it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's just not um, it's not personally my uh, my thing. What was kind of interesting is that all the comics were bagged and boarded, and some of them were even uh, priced, which makes me think, like, you know, and obviously this person was not a comic book uh, collector or dealer or anything, which is what I said. Um, you know, he said that he got the comics from a, a relative, but I, I'd be curious to know more of the backstory, but I'm not sure we'll ever know. So you can see, like, a lot of this stuff, sweethearts and... Young Brides, not uh, not really for me. I'm not sure what this is, actually. I wasn't sure if this had a, had a Star Trek reference to it, but Son of Vulcan. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a Star Trek Vulcan. Probably not, but it, it's pretty cool. Grimm's Ghost Stories. A lot of ghost stories and stuff like that. Sheriff of Tombstone. Here's a Buck Rogers. Pretty nice. Like like I said, yeah. Some of these are priced. That's not that's not my dad's pricing. These are these were priced by somebody else. So 
Uh, whoever whoever originally owned this box was somewhat of a collector. Maybe a dealer if they were pricing stuff like that. Um, there's not really, and there's not really a rhyme or reason to the box. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of just different stuff, which is what I kind of liked about it. I mean, I don't know what any of this stuff is worth. You know, and pretty much anything that I've pulled out at this point, I have no idea what it's worth. Um, I imagine it's it's probably close to about what I pay at a dollar to two dollars a book. Um, but that's okay because it's gonna get better. Trust me. Green Beret, number two. Ghostly Haunts. This stuff here, kind of some, just some cool cover art, definitely. Here's some stuff that I'm kind of more familiar with. Heckle and Jekyll. Fighting forces in action. Baron Werewolves. Ventures into the unknown. And here's this one was really cool. I, I really like this stuff like this. Funky Phantom. Looks like a headless horseman cover there. Pretty cool. And just a random rawhide kid from Marvel. Just thrown in there with everything else. Like I said, there's not really a rhyme or reason to this box. Keep going here. So guys, I mean, I know I know that the people that are subscribed to this channel, which by the way, I'm very, very appreciative of everybody that constantly likes and, and comments. Uh, and I just wanted to say also, there are some comments that I read Right, I see the I see you guys making comments, but the comments don't appear publicly on my YouTube video. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know if they're deleted. I don't know if YouTube's blocking them. Oh wow, look at that. I really like that. That's sick. Lucifer. That's really cool. So I, I don't know if YouTube's blocking these comments. I don't know if you guys are deleting them, but I'm seeing people write really nice comments, really detailed. They they write a nice paragraph, and then I go to I go to respond, and the comment is not like publicly available, and I can't respond to it. But just know, guys, I'm I'm reading them. So even if I even if for some reason the comment doesn't post, you know I'm I'm seeing it. I'm I'm appreciative of it, and it's really cool to see. But as I, as I was saying, I know a lot of you guys are way more, way more into comic books than I am. So let me know. I mean, what, you know, is there anything good in here? I don't know if there's key issues or if there's, if there's any good, if this is a good run, if there's good titles. You know, a lot of this kind of 70s stuff, I'm not really too sure what to make of it. A little more familiar, like I said, with the, uh, the Disney and... Heckle and Jekyll and Flintstones. All right, guys, here comes a really cool book. Definitely one of the better ones in the bunch as far as the non-Marvel comics, but a Hanna-Barbera's Scooby-Doo. Number five, really cool. Obviously, the witch cover with Halloween coming up around the corner. That'll be a nice resale. Here's another Funky Phantom. Really like that kind of stuff. I love the, the cartoon artwork. That one's got an $8 price sticker on it. Some of these are they're pretty old as far as just the, the pricing on them. So who knows what's up to date and what's not. Well, you guys probably know. I don't know. I know what I know. And that's it. Scary Tales, number 20. We're almost through the box, and we're getting to the really good stuff coming up momentarily. Too many ghosts of Dr. Graves. Oh, the many ghosts of Dr. Graves. Billy the Kid. Another many ghosts. This is 12 cents, Silver Age. I really like these. I know these aren't worth like a ton of money, especially in the condition that it's in. But I'm a I love my 
classic cars, especially uh, vintage, vintage muscle cars out of the 60s and 70s. So that's that's a really cool cover just in and of itself. This was another one I really liked, Conga. I do have a... Ever since I was a little kid, I love gorillas, and I definitely have a King Kong exception. Uh, Addiction. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I love King Kong. I love gorillas and conga Versus the Unions and their city of evil interesting Ghostly tales another kind of satanic figure All right guys, this is it. This is what everybody's been waiting for drum roll, please here we go the Vintage Marvel Comics that I promised. A 15 cent Spider-Man, number 85. Really cool issue. Really nice condition. 15 cent Captain America, 133. Uh, origin of MODOK. MODOK on the cover. And the previous issue, number 132. I've waited 20 years to do this. The Fearful Secret of Bucky Barnes. This one looks, this comic looks familiar. This just made an appearance in one of my previous videos, although this one in a much worse condition. I don't know what you'd grade that. Maybe, maybe a 1.0, maybe a 0.5, but maybe, maybe that would get a 1.0. Really like this. Journey into Mystery, number 119. You guys saw this one in the thumbnail. Journey into Mystery 117. Is there an issue in between 117 and 119? Oh, yeah. Journey into Mystery with Thor, number 118. It's in rough shape. It's not a... Uh... I'll sh show you guys. It's not pretty. Got some writing on it. Corners are, are rough. But Journey into Mystery 118, introducing the indestructible destroyer key issue. Super cool book. One of my favorite um, Thor villains. Obviously, the Thor movie featured the destroyer as a villain, and this one is is one that i've wanted to own for a long time don't have one until now uh, am i going to hold on to it or am i going to resell it uh, that, that is the question always a difficult decision to make when you're trying to make a business decision versus an emotional decision but we will see we will see this is my first one so what do you guys think 75 dollars for the whole stack of comics now i know i mean maybe these books alone right here could fetch me $75 or more maybe maybe that's a hundred dollars worth of Marvel books right there but the other books you know I'm not really too sure are they dollar issues are they 50 cent issues are they five dollar comics I have no idea so curious to find out what happens with those I think that $75 was a fair offer and uh, I'm really happy with the comics that I got and got to uh, just make another connection make another deal post some YouTube content all right, guys, if you like the video, please like it, um, as it does help the channel out a great deal. And if you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed, blah, blah, blah. if you're not subscribed, please, please consider subscribing to the channel because, you know, you don't want to miss out on more videos like this. And um, it helps, it helps the channel grow. It helps the channel reach a wider audience and it helps me out a great deal. So without further ado, guys, uh, I'm going to sign off. Hope you enjoyed it. See, uh, see you guys in the next one.